Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about the relation between beta gamma function. What is the relation between beta gamma function? Repeatedly asking important question. Remember very 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 important. Like pharma you have to remember and proof also very much important. The relation between beta gamma function is beta of mn is equal to gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n. Gamma of m plus n. This is like formula. Num number of problems we have to use this formula. In number of problems. Gamma beta of m gamma n is equal to gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n. To prove this one, we have to prove this one relation between beta gamma function. To prove this one. By gamma function definition, we know the formula by the definition of uh, by the definition of a gamma function gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity. What is the gamma n formula? 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx. This is gamma function formula. And one more property of gamma function is there. We derived three properties yesterday. You know, like that one property is there. I did not tell you. Now I will write uh, the gamma n is equal to. This is the property of uh, gamma function. Gamma n is equal to z to the power of n integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus zx into x to the power of n minus 1 dx. What is this? This is the property of gamma function. Just remember and by heart. Now this is the from the definition of gamma function. We wrote the definition. This is the property. Property of gamma function. Property of gamma function just like formula you remember. Now uh, this property of gamma function I am taking as equation 1. The gamma property of gamma function I am taking as equation 1. Now if you send the z to the power of n to this side. Gamma n by z to the power of n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus zx into x to the power of n minus 1 dx. From where do we have got this one? This is one property of gamma function. Like formula you remember. This is from definition of gamma function. If you send the z to the power of n to this side, you will get like this. z to the gamma n by z to the power of n. This is this one I am taking as equation 2. Now what we have to do, now uh, what we have to do, multiply equation 1, this is equation 1, uh, this is equation 2, uh, what uh, to derive this gamma uh, relation between beta gamma function, to derive the uh, relation between this beta gamma function, I am multiplying equation 1, multiply equation 1, both sides by z to the power of m minus 1 and e to the power of minus z. I am multiplying equation 1 both sides with this and this and integrate with respect to z from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to infinity. What I am doing? I am multiplying both sides of equation 1 with z to the power of m minus 1 and e to the power of minus z. I am integrating with respect to z with the limits z is equal to 0 to z is equal to infinity. So that how much we will get? Now left side I will uh, multiply first gamma n constant that is why gamma n outside I will write integral 0 to infinity. 0 to z is equal to 0 to z is equal to infinity e to the power of minus z into z to the power of m minus 1 dz. I am integrating with respect to z with the limit 0 to infinity. Why I am multiplying with this terms only? Because the complete one will becomes gamma m. If you observe this complete thing, this integral complete thing will become gamma m because we need in the far, in the answer we need gamma m also. For that sake, I multiplied equation one both sides with z to the power of m minus one into e to the power of minus z. I am integrating with respect to z as well as taking limits from zero to infinity. I multiplied left side of equation one with this one. And right side, I will multiply integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z into z to the power of m minus 1. I multiplied and the remaining is z to the power of n integral 0 to infinity 
e to the power of minus zx into x to the power of n minus 1 dx whole dz. See integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z uh, and z to the power of m minus 1 and the remaining part is uh, remaining part of equation 1 z to the power of n integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus zx into x to the power of n minus 1 dx whole dx. I wrote as it is. Now this complete part will become this already here gamma n is there. Now this is in the form of integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z into z to the power of m minus 1 becomes gamma m is equal to I will write in this one in order integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity uh, e to the power of e to the power of uh, minus z is there e to the power of minus zx is there taking common minus z taking common minus z how much you will get 1 plus x e to the power of minus z e to the power of minus zx I took common minus z and z to the power of bases are equal power should be added z to the power of basis are equal power should be added z to the power of m plus n minus 1 into the remaining is x to the power of n minus 1 dx dz. Now bases are equal power should be added z to the power of m plus n minus 1 yeah, from e to the power of minus z we took common and dx dz we have got like this what we have to do now now integration uh, x limits are 0 to infinity z limits are also 0 to infinity so that we can change the order of integration because both are if any constant limit for both are same limits for both integrals we can change the order of the limits very much easily and so that you will get a changing the order of integration changing the order of integration gamma m into gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity first I will write x x to the power of n minus 1 integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z into 1 plus x into z to the power of m plus n minus 1 dz into dx I changed the order of integration Th this one this one I wrote in this form because both are same limits as well as constant limits that's why x limits uh, x integration outside and inside z integration now if you observe this one if you observe this one z e to the power of minus in place of x and this is m plus n just for understanding purpose I will uh, um, uh, m plus n minus 1 e to the power of minus z into 1 plus x now if you observe equation 2 observe the equation 2 gamma n by z to the power of n is equal to z to the power of n n is equal to n here n now here m plus n m plus n is there now in place of x how much is there 1 plus x is there minus zx equation 2 is minus zx now z x to the power of n minus 1 in place of n we have m plus n is there in place of x we have 1 plus x is there therefore using equation 2 from equation 2 we can write gamma m into gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 the whole thing will become right hand side m gamma n by z to the power of n but in place of n how much is there m plus n now gamma of n in place of n how much is there in place of n how much is there m plus n therefore how much we will get gamma of m plus n by 1 plus x whole to the power of m plus n dx the whole thing becomes from 2 from equation 2 that is equal to gamma m into gamma n now gamma of 
gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n i am sending this one to this side is equal to integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n dx i send this gamma of m plus n to this side now gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n is equal to beta of m comma n this is the beta n property second property of beta function second property therefore beta of m comma n is equal to gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n hence prove now here from 2 from equation 2 we wrote question is gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi now we will prove that one to prove this one we know that relation between we know that relation between beta gamma function is beta of m comma n is equal to gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n gamma of m plus n this is the relation between beta and gamma we know this relation this is equation one i am taking now by the property of beta function we know one one more by the property property of beta function the last property of beta function is beta of m comma n is equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2 m minus 1 into cos theta to the power of 2 n minus 1 d theta this is one property we already derived we know this one this one i am taking as 2 now this is also beta of m comma n this is also beta of m comma n both are beta of m comma n that's why 1 is equal to 2 if you equate 1 is equal to 2 we will get a 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2 m minus 1 into cos theta to the power of 2 n minus 1 d theta is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n by gamma of m plus n we will get like this because uh, this is beta of m comma n this is also beta of m comma n that's why we will get this is equal to this now in this above equation we will put uh, m is equal to 1 by 2 now if you cross multiply 2m minus 1 is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 by 2 if you cross multiply 2n minus 1 is equal to 0 now wherever 2m minus 1 is equal uh, 2m minus 1 is there we will put 0 wherever 2n minus 1 is there we will put 0 so that how much you will get a 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 0 into cos theta to the power of 0 d theta is equal to gamma of m is equal to how much we have taken m is equal to 1 by 2 into n is equal to 1 by 2 by gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 m plus n m is equal to 1 by 2 n is equal to 1 by 2 if you substitute 2 sin theta to the power of 0 is 1 cos theta to the power of 1 is uh, cos theta 0 is equal to 1 integral 1 is a different uh, integration of in, uh, integral 1 1 d theta is a theta limits are 0 to pi by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 x into x is x square like that gamma of 1 by 2 whole square by uh, gamma of 1, 1, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 gamma of 1 gamma of 1 is equal to upper limit here upper limit minus lower limit in, if you integrate pi by 2 minus 0 is equal to 1 uh, gamma of 1 by 2 whole square by gamma of 1 is gamma of 1 is equal to 1 1 property we know now 2 2 get cancelled pi is equal to gamma of 1 by 2 implies uh, implies 1 uh, gamma uh, gamma of 1 by 2 whole square is equal to pi gamma of 1 by 2 whole square is equal to pi therefore gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to under root of pi gamma of 1 by 2 whole square is equal to pi therefore gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi thank you very much